Hi guys, welcome back to my kitchen. I'm going to be making for you buffalo wings in my kitchen today. I hope you enjoy this recipe. It's fast, easy, and it's fun. So come along, let me show you what you'll need in order to make this recipe. Okay guys, here I have some wings right here. Make sure that you wash your wings real good. You want to make sure there's no feathers on there. You don't want to go go eat no wings with feathers on it. So you make sure you clean it up really nice and wash it with vinegar and lemon juice. Also, I'm going to add a little bit of garlic to that. In here I have a teaspoon of black pepper teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of Jamaican all-purpose seasoning. I'm also going to need my butter for this recipe and I'm also going to use some hot sauce. And just in case you guys ask me about this hot sauce, I purchased this one at the Dollar Tree and I tell you it is really good. It's only a dollar so give it a try and tell me how much you guys like it. Also over here I have two pounds of all purpose flour okay so come on let's go okay guys let's do the first step the first thing I'm going to do is add my teaspoon of garlic in here and with clean hands you just want to go ahead and mix this in okay I'm going to put this away and I'm gonna let it sit for about a half an hour before I move on to my next step so let's move on, on. now we're moving on to our next step we have our two pounds of all-purpose flour there. I'm going to add a, a teaspoon of salt, teaspoon of black pepper, and a teaspoon of Jamaican all-purpose seasoning. And all I'm going to do is whisk this around. Just like that. And then next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and put my chicken wings in. And again with clean hands, you just want to go ahead and stir this in. And guys, I always let my wings sit in the flour because the flour is seasoned with your salt and your black pepper and your seasoning. So I let this sit for another half an hour, okay, before I start frying this. So I'm going to let this sit for half an hour and then we'll come back and then we will move on to our next step okay guys we are moving on to the next step now I have my oil in the pot here and I have enough oil in there because I want to make sure when I put my wings in there it's covered so here we go so there you have it guys I have my wings and I'm going to let that back fry it's going to take a total of about 10 to 30 minutes to be fried, to be done, completed, fried through and through. We want to get that nice golden brown, so we'll come back and show you what that step looks like. Okay guys, so the color is perfect. It's just the way that I want it, just like that. I don't want it to get any darker than this, because remember, you're going to put your sauce on it, so that is a perfect color, a nice golden brown so we go ahead and take these out okay guys I have my pot on the fire right there I'm going to put a half a stick of butter in here and then I'm going to go ahead and add my hot sauce You want to make sure that the fire is on low heat. Just mix it around until the butter melts. So when it comes to a full bowl like that, you just want to go ahead and put your chicken wings in. And there you have it. Give it about a minute to soak up that good flavor and then I'm going to put it on a Jamaican plate so I'll see you back let's top it off with a little scallion on top 
make it nice and pretty there you have it guys I hope you like this recipe don't forget to give this video a thumbs up let me know what you'd like to see me cooking next in my kitchen and as always from my kitchen to your kitchen enjoy for a good 30 minutes on medium heat. Cover it up nice and make it simmer. And when it's done simmer, a time for eat. So see you back okay, in a guys, few minutes. So this is in with your foundation for coverage. You know, like bam. And last but not least, the last thing I tend to go for in my makeup collection is this palette right here. Let me show you what this baby looks like. It has a whole bunch of concealers. I believe it's $10 for this palette.